Hello dear biotechnicians welcome back again so today i have come up with yet another video where we are going to see what should be the right choice of books for gate life sciences exam preparation so here we are going to see an important and the best reference books that is needed to prepare any particular section in gate life sciences syllabus so let's start with the video and see all the reference books for the same so coming to the general aptitude section that is compulsory in gate life sciences exam so for this there are no reference books needed and so here you have to download and practice last 10 years pyqs and once you are done with your pyqs practice that will be more than enough that will really give you an idea about the pattern and uh, how the questions are asked in exams. So for this, you just have to download all the uh, last 10 years question papers and you have to practice all numericals for general aptitude. Coming to the next section, that is section P or you can say chemistry. So again, this is a compulsory section for all. So here in chemistry, you have three sections. Physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic. So for all three sections, we are going to see a separate book. So for physical chemistry, you can just go for a Ira and Levine book. The name of the author is Levine. And what are the benefits that you get after uh, studying physical chemistry from this book? Each chapter has a summary of the critical points. So once you are going with to, through the summary of the chapter, that will be enough. And also in this book, there will be an important fundamental equations that will be marked. So that will be highlighted. So you can go through that equations as well, as well as it contains a considerable number of examples followed by exercises. So you can practice those exercises as well. For organic chemistry, you can go for Jonathan Clayden at all. So here you will get all the representation of organic compounds and reaction mechanisms that will be very important or you can say very easy for you to prepare general organic chemistry part in gate life sciences syllabus. And if you want to prepare inorganic chemistry, so you can go for principles of inorganic chemistry by late B.R. Puri. So these are three different reference books for three different sections. And here this book will provide you with the depth knowledge of concepts of inorganic chemistry. Or otherwise you can go for NCRT class 11th and class 12th text textbooks. So if you don't want to go for all these three books, so you can directly go for NCRT class 11th chemistry or NCRT class 12th chemistry. So that will be a great help for this chemistry section for gate life sciences exam. Coming to the next section that is biology section. So firstly we'll see the reference books for biochemistry that is Q section. So if you see biochemistry, this section consists of biochemistry syllabus, analytical tools and techniques, cellular and microbiology, as, as well as immunology. So we'll see all of the reference books for all these sections. So firstly, coming to the biochemistry section that includes biochemistry, plant biochemistry, as well as enzyme part. So for biochemistry, you can refer any one of the reference books that are mentioned here. You can either go for Laninger's principle of biochemistry by Nelson Cox. You can either go for biochemistry that is an international addition by Stryer or you can go for principles of biochemistry by Voigt and Voigt and also biochemistry by Satyanarayan. So this is an Indian book. So if you want to go for an Indian author, so you can go for biochemistry by Satyanarayan. So once you study all these books, so you have to refer any one of the reference book that is mentioned here. So once you study, it will help you to provide and understand the basic principles of biochemistry and also it uh, addresses you the advancement of biochemistry as well. So plant biochemistry, you can refer plant biochemistry by waiter, where you will get all the plant bioenergetics part. And for enzymes, you can go for enzymes biochemistry by Palmer and Palmer. So this is the name of author Palmer and Palmer. Here you will get basic and advanced knowledge of all the enzymes, its classes, as, as well as its kinetics along with the regulation part. So this is all about the biochemistry a part that is included un under biochemistry syllabus. Now coming to the next section under biochemistry itself. So the second part that is included in under biochemistry is analytical tools and techniques. Means you have to cover methods in biology, all tools and techniques that are needed for research. 
so for this you can go for a very uh, best uh, reference book you can say principles and techniques of biochemistry and molecular biology that is by wilson and walker that has a description of all the tools and techniques that are used in research and for cellular and molecular biology that is a third section under biochemistry you can go for either molecular biology of the cell by bruce alberts or you can refer cooper book or cell and molecular biology by gerald cup so if you want to start with basics and you want to understand everything so it's better to go for gerald cup here also you can go for molecular cell biology by lordish or you can refer molecular biology of the gene that is by james t watson and what are the benefits of studying all these cellular and molecular biology books so it provides you with the in depth text reference in cellular biology and also molecular biology of the cells is discussed in all of these books coming to the next section that is included in biochemistry it's immunology and you know immunology here you have to study about all of the immune cells and immunity so here you can refer here are the two best books so the first is immunology by cube and if not you can also go for essential immunology by roits which presents the most recent concept that is related to immunology so this is all about the biochemistry section where we have seen the best books for biochemistry plant biochemistry enzymes cellular and molecular biology analytical tools and techniques as well as immunology now coming to the next section that is xlr or you can say botany section and if you see the botany syllabus in gate life sciences you will find botany syllabus as well as ecology so here you have to learn and understand the concepts of ecology and environment so here are two different section that is first is botany and the second is ecology so for botany you can go for plant physiology by tez and ziger so this is the best book you can go for plant physiology or you can go for introductory plant biology by stun and the third is plant physiology by frank b salisbury or you can either go for r s mehrotra but the best book that i have mentioned at first is tez and ziger so what you will get after studying all these books so again you have to study any of the uh, one reference books of your choice so what you will get after you complete all your syllabus of gate life sciences that focuses on the transportation and translocation of water and solutes so if you study these books you will get the knowledge of transportation and translocation of water and solutes so you will be covering this syllabus from these books it also discusses the physiological processes like growth and development means it discusses all in and outs of plant physiology means it will discuss all basics and advanced knowledge of plant physiology and also it discusses the new classification of plants as well as plant related species so once you cover and read all your syllabus that will be done for gate life sciences exam and the next section is ecology so you can refer either basic ecology that is the fundamentals of ecology by odum or you can also go for elements of ecology by smith and smith so it's up to you which books you want to refer for your ecology preparation which provides you the details of conservation biology as well as ecosystem health now coming to the third section that is microbiology under gate life sciences exam and this microbiology is called as axel s segment so for this i have mentioned microbiology here because if you see microbiology uh, syllabus you have microbial isolation growth its kinetics what are the different phases of microbial growth along with antibiotics and their mode of action as well as some genetics part is there so if you read this microbiology book so that will be a great help for this microbiology section for this gate life sciences exam so what are the author or which book can you uh, refer for this uh, microbiology it can be prescott's microbiology or it can be pelzar microbiology microbiology by pelzar or you can also go for microbiology by tortora funke or case so at first i have mentioned prescott so your choice should always be prescott if not so you can go for any of the reference book so what are the highlights of this book so if you study prescott or pelzar or the stortora so you will get a major concepts of the introduction to microbiology you will be getting everything related to microbiology 
It, it also includes the topics of ecology in evolution and biodiversity. This is just a wow thing because here you will be getting microbial ecology as well. And if you see the syllabus for microbiology in gate exam, there is a topic that is called as microbial ecology. So this books will be com uh, completing your microbial e ecology, evolution and diversity part as well. Also, it includes bacterial genetics. As I have mentioned, it includes genetics part as well. This microbiology syllabus has genetics part that is called as microbial genetics. So it also gives you an idea about my bacterial genetics, metabolism as well as genetic engineering is discussed here. So this is all about the microbiology section where you have to learn the core principles of microbiology. Now coming to the next section that is zoology or you can say axle T segment. So if you see uh, zoology syllabus and you uh, analyze that, you will find you have to study zoology, you also have to study genetics, you have to study evolution part as well as developmental biology. Now what should be the best reference books to cover this zoology part? So if you want to prepare zoology part, you can go either for animal biology that is the instant notes you will get by Zerd. Or, or you can go for vertebrates comparative anatomy by function by cardong that is function and evolution and if you want to study introductory zoology that is by Kotpal and Tyagi. So you can go for any of the reference books of your choice. So what are the highlights of book and what what will be the benefits after reading these books for zoology? You that is composed of essentials or animal biology. So you will getting all of the informations about uh, animal biology where it also emphasizes on the functions and evolution of vertebrates along with complete anatomical details. Coming to the next part that is genetics under zoology section. So you can go for any of the books that is mentioned here. So there are four books I have mentioned. You can go for any of the reference books. The fastest principles of gene manipulation and genomics by S.B. Primrose. So you can either go for Primrose book or you can go for principles of genetics by Snustad or by Gardner or you can either refer Benjamin A. Pierce. So it is very good to go for Benjamin A. Pierce or S.B. Primrose. So any, uh, any one of the books you can refer for preparation of this genetics part. Now what are the benefits of studying this genetics from Primrose or you can say Snustad, Gardner or Benjamin A. Pierce. So that are equivalently important. So they explains the basic as well as advanced gene manipulation techniques, genome analysis, complete genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics as well as metabolics part. And you can see it is covering all the advanced knowledge of or you can say advanced concept of genetics. So it is good to go for Benjamin Apiers or Primrose or you can either go for Snustard or Gardner. It's up to you. And the third section over here is developmental biology and for developmental biology there is the one you can say the most recent and uh, updated version that is Scott F. Gilbert 12th edition which provides the detailed explanation of all the mechanisms that are involved in development so it is a very good to go. The fourth section is evolution and behavior where you have to study about evolutionary biology so for this you can either go for evolution by strict Berger or you can go for a theory of evolution by Dawkins and Maynard, which explains all of the evolutionary principles as well as theory. So this is about the zoology section in gate life sciences exam. Now coming to the last section that is food technology that is also called as segment U. So if you see and analyze the food technology syllabus, you will find nutrition, food engineering part, Fund, uh, fermentation technology, food chemistry as well as food products technology. So here I have mentioned different books for all different sections. So let's come to the first section that is nutrition. So here you can go for advanced test books and on food and nutrition by Dr. M. Swami Nathan. So here it focuses on the in-depth knowledge of food nutrition. So if you want to study for new food nutrition, you can go for Dr. M. Swami Nathan that covers all the area of food nutrition. The second is food 
code engineering where you have to learn all the principles of engineering engineering principles of food so here processing and food engineering by mk garg and pritam chandra you can see this is an indian author book or you can go for fundamentals of food engineering by dg rao so better go for this dg rao if you are getting mk garg and pritam chandra book so it's got to go for this it deals with the fundamentals of food engineering so it deals with all the food engineering principles as well as all the operation that are involved in food processing the third section is food chemistry so you can go for food chemistry by mayer that discusses all of the major food components like all of the major biomolecules such as carbohydrate proteins amino acid lipids as well as enzyme also it provides a details about vitamins minerals what are colorings flavors and additive additives and if you analyze gate life sciences food technology part there you have separate topic such as colorant flavors as well as additives the fourth section is food product technology so for this you can go for outline of dairy technology by sukumar day or you can go for post harvest technology of cereals and pulses by chakravarti so here you can see again there is an indian author book which covers the major areas of dairy technology and also it focuses on post harvest technologies the last section under food technology is fermentation technology where you have to learn about all of the fermentation processes and its detail so for this you can go for, for principles of fermentation technology by stanbury so this is all about the reference books that is needed for the preparation of gate life sciences exams so now i have come to the end of my session i hope you like the session if you like the session do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel that is by technica meet you in the next video until next time this is your host riya khilwani take care goodbye keep learning